You're watching another Element Eval. What? What's up guys? Be sure and subscribe below if you want to see more awesome hunting gear reviews. Today, we're going to review the Sika Gear Flash 20 Pack. I use this pack the whole 2017 season, from the slopes of Colorado to the public lands of Texas. This pack went pretty much everywhere I did this year. This pack served me well. It's not perfect, nothing really is, so I'm going to start out with some of the bad stuff that I didn't like about it. Uh, first things first, I really thought that they kind of overkilled on the buckles and straps and all this and that. I mean, they're everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buckles right here just on the back. And I get it, straps are good, right? Like you need to be able to attach things to your bag, but it gets to a point where it's just a little bit overwhelming because you've got so many here and you've got all these tag ends and you need different links and different spots to snap. I found that I was snapping the wrong things in different places and my pack would get all sideways and crazy. So it's a great idea, but it just might need a little bit of reform. And when we're talking the functionality of the straps, the purpose of them is to be able to strap things onto your bag so that when you're running a 2,000 cubic inch bag like this one is, you can actually really expand the size of the bag and how much stuff you can carry. But what I found is since this bag is just a day pack style with a, a very light frame inside, you end up with a very cumbersome load that can shift and move around because the pack doesn't have a lot of structure. Throughout the season, this pack was very durable for me, but I did find that on the waist strap here, there is a mesh material that is on the front of one of these pockets that isn't the most durable and ended up tearing as I was going through the brush. Now, not that big of a deal, not a big tear. It doesn't really mess with the structural integrity, but this little pouch is where I happen to keep my elk diaphragms, my knife sharpener, different things like that. There's a little compass in here. It's small things like that that can make the difference in your hunt. So you really don't need to be losing them. Another small thing that I had a problem with, but it ended up being not that bad of a deal, is that this pack doesn't come standard with its own hydration bladder, which is kind of okay because I purchased my own. That would probably be better than the standard one that you'd get that would be real generic and kind of cheaply made in most packs. So, wasn't a big deal. This is the good stuff. And now for the good stuff. All right, so this pack really served me quite well throughout the season, all right? I know I complained about the buckles, but it really did do the job of being able to strap a bunch of different layers and things on the outside of the pack that I needed to access quickly and didn't really want to dig around inside the pack for. Also, these buckles actually are on a modular system on the pack. If you look right here, you can actually detach the buckle from this loop and move it up and down depending on what kind of load you're trying to carry. Then you snap it back in place and it's good to go. I didn't push it down far enough. So say you're on a hike trying to get to your elk hunting spot or trying to get back on the back side of the public land parcel that you're after whitetail on and you don't really want to carry your bow in your hand, you can actually attach it to this pack. This little buckle right here goes through the cam of the bottom of your bow and then this top one you tighten, cinch down, and then your bow is tight on your bag. Handy schmandy. The buckles on the side here allow your pack to expand if need be. Say it's a really cold day but you're walking in a long ways and you don't want to wear all that heavy clothing but you need to pack it inside your pack. Or, say you actually killed something and you quartered it up, you can stick it inside the pack, cinch it down, it's tied against your body. And, speaking of tied against your body, this pack actually has an aluminum frame inside which really helped to cut down on weight compared to the old steel frame or whatever my junky one had that I had before had. It also has this mesh that's tied across the back right here that actually holds the pack off your back unless you're carrying a really heavy load really helps with ventilation and to get that airflow going through there because we all know how hot it can get back here between your backpack and your back. Another thing I was really impressed with on this pack is the actual material on the outside. For one thing, it seems to be super water repellent. Like it's not advertised as a waterproof pack and I get that, but water will bead up on here to an extent. There have been plenty of times where I was caught in a little minor rain shower and just had the water shed off. Now there was one time, got caught in a torrential downpour and yeah, everything got wet. Like I get it, even me inside my rain poncho. But for the most part, the exterior shell on this pack is super durable. It doesn't have any tears at all in the actual, this part, okay? Um, another thing I really liked about the pack is the fact that 
the subalpine camo, yeah, blends in great in forested environments. I love the camo, but it actually prints well on this material, which is something you don't always find in heavy duty materials like this. So I thought that the camo pattern came out really well. I really appreciated the attention to detail that Sitka put into how many little pockets there are on this pack. Now I know it can kind of add weight or whatever, but I'm not an ounces counter kind of guy. Like I really like the fact that there's a small pouch right here that's really easily accessible. Say if you're hanging the pack in a tree stand or you set it down, this is where you can put your stuff like your headlamp. That's really something that you're gonna have to get to quick and easy and know where it's at all the time. There's also a nice little pouch right here on the outside of the pack that you can stick an extra hat or a beanie or a pair of socks or something like that. And then there are two main compartment zippers. Uh, the smaller one on the front is where I usually keep my lunch and all my stuff that I eat. And I also, uh, well, there's a rain poncho in here. And a first aid kit. Always carry that in there as well. And then the big compartment zipper. Now let me show you this really cool little detail that I know isn't a big deal, but it really helped me a lot. The big compartment has orange zipper pulls, okay? So a lot of times when I'm accessing my bag, it's like in the dark or right before shooting light, and I don't need to be fumbling around trying to find which zipper or which pouch I'm trying to access. So color coordinating the zippers just makes a ton of sense. The small pouch has black zippers, the big pouch has orange zippers. And there's orange stuff in here. How about that? Public land, right? But one of the major points of this is the huge amount of volume that you actually have in this pack. And I don't have a ton of stuff in there right now, but for a 2,000 cubic inch pack, I feel like this pack can expand to a lot more than that, honestly. I mean, there were many times going into the deer woods that I hauled way more junk in here than I really even needed. And taking into consideration the fact that we like to film our hunts and we're gonna go in for all day sits, there's a ton of clothing, a ton of camera gear, a ton of heavy stuff that goes in this pack. How durable and how much stuff it holds really, really came in handy for me this season. So I like this pack a lot. I'm probably going to continue to use this in the seasons to come because I really thought it served me well being an all-around hunter. Yeah, it's not going to be the perfect whitetailer pack or the perfect backcountry pack, but it's super tough, super durable, holds a lot of stuff, and is very comfortable to wear. And I can't really ask for much more out of it. I mean, I really put this thing to the test. Oh, why can't I talk? <laughs> Super durable. <clears throat> I can't talk. Can I beer? Perfect. <laughs> so if you're an all-around hunter like me, you should really check out the Sitka Flash 20 pack because it's tough, it's durable, and it works. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel as well to see more awesome gear reviews. Remember, this is your element. Live in it. <laughs>